this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Soggy in the Grass. In this episode, um, I'm going to be first heading up to the, the tower. Oh, actually, so this thing, just as I was uh, setting up my recording, it just fell from the sky. And oh, as did that. Oh, shoot, that one might be a bit closer. Yes, yeah, so I was, I was going to kind of ride that up. Now I've got the, the paraglider. I was wondering if it would be... Um, if it would be worth going up there, because then I don't need to stress about dying. And then I also might be able to land somewhere. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh, perfect timing for it to stop raining as well while we're about to go up, get a clearer view, is yeah, I can use recall on this. And then uh, I guess it doesn't matter that it stayed on the ground for a while. It only does like the, the last movements. And oh, is that Hetsu? Was that Hetsu down there? Was it? Oh, I've, I've got too high to see that. That might have been Hetsu, the person who upgrades all of my, my inventory stuff. The person who wants the uh, the Korok seeds. Uh, so it looks like we've not got high enough to go to any Sky Islands. But we can use this to fly straight to this, uh, this tower, which will save me a lot of time. But then I do want to fly back because so it might have just been a tree. And if it was a tree... I have to put my hand on my heart and apologize for Hetsu for thinking that they were a tree. But they might have been Hetsu because I've been getting loads of Korok seeds. And um, obviously, uh, oh, little shrine down there might as well mark you while we're flying through the air. Um, yeah, I've been getting loads of Korok seeds, but I haven't been able to upgrade my inventory. And it has been an issue. I have been running out of, uh, of space in my inventory. And you know what? I'm so glad I did that because this one looks like it would have been a pain <laughs> to get up to uh, otherwise. So uh, I'm glad I was able to, to kind of skip it uh, by gliding all the way down here. So, all right, let's get this new region filled in and we can uh, check out the, the map. Uh, but then we're going to keep on, in general, uh, heading to the, uh, the northwest side of the map. I wonder if I'm ever going to get bored of that. I wonder if I'm ever going to get bored of this cutscene. I don't think I will. I don't, I don't think that, like, maybe if there was, like, 200 towers by, like, the 200th one, I would. But with the amount of towers in the game, I think I'm always just going to enjoy watching uh, watching that cutscene. And it's good because we've got the, uh, the area filled in. Uh, God, it's quite a big area if you consider just how like small that giant area with that thing was and then we've got the sky map update yes, look at all this stuff in the sky i don't know how to get to them i don't know how to reach all these uh these sky i mean could i reach any from here from where i'm flying well actually yeah i might be able to you know like i think that is one right there yeah okay i'm sorry i've got really uh distracted yet again but i haven't been on any of the the sky islands since the the first one that i landed on like since like the tutorial area basically like i've only been on the the ground so maybe using these towers is like the the way you uh the way you reach them to be honest and i know obviously i've not been to all the regions so it might be different in other places i thought the sky islands were going to be a bigger part of the game like i thought you were going to be mainly on the sky islands and not on the ground very much uh, but it does seem to be like like at best 50 50 but i think in if anything, it's you're on the ground more than uh, than in the in the sky, and this place is beautiful. But what is this? So it's not a shrine, but it's a thing. <laughs> I, can, I can confirm. You can write that quote in the comments. It is a thing, Stampy, twenty twenty three. Oh, is that like some sort of like gateway? Consider me curious. Oh, Courage Island. Oh, I don't like the I don't like the sound of this. So I guess what do I do I do I glide through this then? Oh, I see. Oh, do I, do I need to drop through all of these and like dodge everything? Oh, it's down here. It's down here. I might need to glide a little bit in order to to get this one. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. So I want to try and not use my glider as much as possible because I don't have much stamina yet. So I won't be able to use it for uh, for that much. So I want to save it for if I need it in case things turn out bad. But it looks like we're going to land into uh, some water. Oh, that was amazing. And I'm so I was so high up 
I am still on a sky island. Despite falling all that way, I am still like really high up in the air. And I've gained something. Oh, it's grown. Oh, is it a shrine? Have I made a shrine up here? Oh, that's nice. This is a nice way for me to... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Sorry. I made myself laugh the way I said that. Um, <laughs> it's because I'll be able to use this to like teleport back up if I, if I need to. God, that was epic, wasn't it? It wasn't too difficult. I think it probably looked scarier than it was, but maybe it's I'm just too brave for this uh, this courage island. So where, where am I? So I'm kind of right under. Yeah, so you see this whole that whole thing was just this little bit on the map here. And I bet there was a bunch of other things on the, the way down that I didn't discover, but I don't know a way that I could get back up there. And there's a construct. Welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Your courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challenges have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? <laughs> sure. Could it be that you don't know of the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests the courage. It is a rite of which Zoni, you've come of age. The starting position is the Sky Island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. Okay, I guess I was probably a bit slow because I used the paraglider. I don't think I needed to use the paraglider at all. I wish you luck uh, in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Oh, it's definitely worth doing. Go on, show me your courage. Will it Will it teleport me up there? Uh, I forgot to mention one thing. It requires one zony charge as an offering. Our custom since uh, long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a zony charge to the island. Outrageous. No zony charge will have been provided for many years. We are short supply. Your cooperation would be appreciated. All right, go on then, go on then. This outfit better blow my mind. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all of the gates within 35 seconds or less. Okay, so they are going to teleport me back up there. That is what one of my main worries were. I wonder how fast my uh, my last go was. Like, obviously, I, I will start to, like, uh, remember, like, where they are. So I guess once I'm lined up, I can kind of do this to kind of dive down even faster. So forget not using the paraglider. I can do this to go even. Oh, no, I'm going to have to use the glider. Oh, okay, I messed. I was, trying, I was trying to go too fast there, and it ended up messing me up. Oh, but well, you know why I was even worried? I did it in 21 seconds. <laughs> I was in there all stressed going, oh, I messed it up. I used the paraglider for 0 0.045 seconds. But I was like, over 10 seconds there. Your time is 21. They have bear, bore witness to my courage. And I got a glide shirt. It puts up my skydive mobility. And it looks amazing. The cloth is sewn in the shirt to help catch air, increasing the wearer's ability to glide uh, when they plummet from the, the sky. Uh, you may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to say I'll pass for now because I want to put my outfit on first. Oh, it does look great. Oh, I do look great. Shall I, shall I try and beat the, uh, the time of 20 seconds? I mean, will I get something for it? Surely I'll get something for it. At least maybe I'll get my, uh, my Zoni chargers back for, for that. You know what? I reckon I could do that. The fact that I was so close to, to doing it that time anyway, and that was only my, my second uh, attempt, uh, I think that, um, I, I think I should be able to get it this time. But let's, uh, let's not get overconfident. It's the, uh, the courage, uh, challenge, not the, uh, the confidence <laughs> challenge. So I don't think I need to use my, I think I can just dive through this first one. Yeah, because I slowed myself down by using the, the paraglider that last time. So let's just uh, move up here, and then I can go down through these really fast. This one I might need to guide a little bit. And this is where I messed up before, but there we go. I didn't need to use my paraglider there. Dive through the final one. Oh, wait, oh, did I miss it? Did I miss the final one? No! I got it, though. I got it. Like, I, I could have got that in under 20 seconds. I was just trying to be... I don't know, I was just trying to be too fast and dive. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll go again, we'll go again. Right, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one for sure. You mark my word. Oh, wait, did I miss that one? Okay, I was scared that I was just going to miss that first ring then. Right, this is the section where I can go really, really fast and just dive through all of these. This is where I need to slow down a little bit. 
in order to get that one. And let's uh, let's not try and be over clever. Oh, okay, I did. I thought I missed it again. I thought I missed it again because I wasn't in the center enough, but like just about got the edge of it. And 17 seconds as well. Look at me go. <laughs> Your time is 17.51. That's an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenge. Uh, I award this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. A large zony charge. So what do these do again? So massive energy stored with him. Put it in a zony device dispenser or use it to temporarily prevent zony energy cell from losing power. Uh, so I guess that... um, uh, I guess that like... Do I just press to like when I'm on a ob like a, a vehicle or something or when I'm using something? Do I just like press to use it from my inventory? Uh, will you attempt the ceremony again? Well, no, I'm already the best in the world ever. Why would I? Why, why would I bother doing it again when I'm already the best in the world ever? Well, I tell you what. Seems as I've not really used that many of the devices. Let's see if we can uh, get some more of these capsules. So let's um, let's throw in some of these uh these charges. Sorry. Let's do one of these these large ones then, because I assume they're going to give us the the best stuff. And uh, I've not used this uh, this dispenser either, so I might get a whole bunch of other stuff that I've not even used before, which would be uh, very exciting. Oh! Oh, was it giving me? Oh, it just came back out. Oh, that was the wrong thing. That was that wasn't a charge. That was just large zone. Like that's why this is a large zone -like charge. Oh, at least they gave it back. At least they uh, they didn't hog it. It's not like when you put like a a wrong coin into an arcade machine or something and it just gets stuck. <laughs> At least they uh, they returned it to me. Right, this should give me loads of them. And oh, hot air balloon ones. That will be really useful. Portable pot, fan, fan, portable pot, balloon. Oh, another mystery one. Oh, a time bomb. Uh, Zony device uh, for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zony devices. Okay, that would be a that would be one that would be useful for combat. Isn't there like a way to see? Yeah, I can see what they go. So this just tells me everything that they that they give me. Uh, I might use this one again, just because I would like to get more of those uh, those balloons. But let's uh, let's just use these uh, these normal ones. We're, we'll save that uh, we'll save that big one for for something else though. So let's go and throw these in. I want to get just at least one more of the uh, the balloons. I've got quite a lot of the other stuff. Oh, I can see I got more of the bombs. Oh, you know, I don't think I got any balloons from this. Maybe because it's like a rarer one. Well, tell you what, let's use one more of these big ones then. Just because, seeing as this is one that the balloons are at. And I'm going to get more of these charges later on anyway. I wouldn't stress about it. There, okay, good. I got loads of the balloons. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's go and gobble all of these up to make sure I'm never lacking for them. And uh, we also have the, uh, the the shrine that I just discovered that I've not been in yet. So let's head straight into to there. And uh, I wonder if it's going to be a shrine about skive diving? Oh, it's a combat training one. Boo! Boo! Okay, you know, it might be useful because I'm not very good at uh, <laughs> using the, the bow and arrow. I just, the puzzle ones are just so much more fun to me. I don't know, I mean, maybe you prefer the combat ones, but um, yeah, these ones I find quite boring. I, I am preferring them over the Breath of the Wild ones. Like when they like strip back all of your stuff and it's kind of more of a combat puzzle is more fun. All right, draw your bow midair to heighten your senses and for, oh, okay, it's teaching us how to do the little like slow-mo matrix move. Uh, your other attacks are ineffective here. So I guess that, um, are these going to be like a bunch of fans uh, that I'm going to use to to fly up? I mean, this stuff is like crucial for uh, for people that didn't play Breath of the Wild to know, but for us old timers, it's all uh, it's all pretty basic stuff, isn't it? Oh, I only need to do it once. I guess it's probably going to make me do it again. They're just so slow paced these ones as well, which is why I hurt them. So, well, let me just cut this out, and then we'll we'll carry on with our journey. Okay, the uh, the shrine has been completed. Uh, yeah, it was just, I had to shoot three of them, and that was it, then it just ended. Uh, right, is there, is there any other, like, sky, I guess I can see on the map, are there any sky islands that look reachable? There's, like, a few little blips <laughs> down that way, but yeah, and I think I'd be able to glide from them from here. I also realised that I'm only, um, I'm only one shrine away from getting another upgrade. I would like to boost up my stamina next, I think, but I do want to see... Oh, where, where's that? Where's the, uh, where's the tower? Oh, it's this way. So wait, which way's, <laughs> which, which way's that way? Is it this way? No, is it this way? I mean, I should be able to see it. Okay, there's the tower there. And then, so where did I, oh, did I come from the other side down there? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make this, you know. I do want to go down and see if that was Hetsu. It really might not be. 
But whatever that was down there, I need to see what it was because I've been desperate to, to find him this uh, this whole game. So let's let's see if I can uh, I can reach him and uh, and then yeah maybe upgrade my inventory, which would be lovely. Oh, I did get like a better bow by the way, just to keep you well informed. Uh, that was my prize for completing that shrine. Oh, it is Hetsu! I just got to tap myself in the trees, and I guess uh, I guess Hetsu was watching. Shakalaka, the scary things are gone. Wait, I I, I looted all the stuff yet. Yeah. You see me? You see me? My name is Hetsu. I'm the musician of the Korok Forest up in the northeast, and I know and I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thank you for your help, Shashaka! To show you my appreciation, I will do a little dance for you to make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Kurok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoku? The children of the forest must have been taken them again. If I had even one Kurok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Well, I have plenty of Korok seeds, you'll be happy to hear. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. But the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was in a panic. Oh, hang on. Do you have Korok seeds? You do? You got Korok seeds from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Yes, please. Shalaka! Which stash would you like more sorts? Well, always weapon stash, because that's just the most versatile. Because you can, uh... Well, there's loads of stuff that is stored in there. <laughs> Yay! We got a little Korok joining in the dance! God, you know, just one more slot is just going to be so helpful. So I might do the, uh... I might do the weapon stash up uh, a little bit. And then, uh... Maybe, like, the, the bow and the, the shield, like, up by one each, I guess. Because, like, the more you upgrade of, like, the, the same thing, the, um, like, the more expensive uh, it costs. So let's uh, upgrade as much as we can. And then I said, uh, he said he was going to be heading east so we could try and find him again. Oh, no, he's, he's leaving before I can, um, finish doing all of my, my upgrades. That's annoying, because I still got loads of Korok seeds. But I guess he's probably going to, like, end up in one certain place. Uh, oh. Oh, sorry, little lizard. <laughs> uh, so these these are like really uh these are really strong. So these they might be a good thing to take as like a base. So if I drop this sword, I might grab this stick. Oh, I might have to grab it first, and then attach the the stick onto the end of this. The sword onto the end of this. Sorry. So then it'll be really sturdy. But should do some really good damage now. Oh yeah, 14 damage. Not bad at all. There we go. I think that was a uh, that was definitely worth doing. And there we go. We finally found Hetsu. It's been a uh, long enough of a uh, of a wait. And oh, that's a different Sky Island. That oh shit, that might be the bottom. Yeah. So I dropped down through there, and that's the one that the the shrine was on. So all of that has already been explored. Uh, I think I marked a shrine like over here. I think that's the one that I marked from when I was a. Uh, I was really high up. So let's go and uh, head over to, to that one. Because as I said, I only need to get uh, one more like light blessing uh, until I can get uh, an overall upgrade. Right, I realize probably the easiest way to do it would be to, to go back to that sky island and then just go drop down at it uh, from uh, from above. I think that's going to be a, a really quick way to, to travel loads of places. The only problem is because you can kind of travel so much faster now because you've got so many like different options to, to get around. Is you've got to be careful you don't end up missing everything. Because normally, like, the way you find things is when you're kind of wandering around slowly. And then you kind of spot, like, oh, what's this random cave? Or what's this weird Korok thing and stuff? So I want to make sure that I don't end up just, like, flying everywhere. And then missing out on a bunch of stuff. For example, there is a, uh, a Korok seed thing. Not that Hetsu's going to stick around for long enough for me to, <laughs> to use it anywhere. Uh, but right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this shrine. And then that will be enough, as I said, for uh, my next big upgrade. Built 
to carry. Okay, well, it is not a, uh, a combat shrine, so I am happy. God, it does look like a bit of a confusing one. So, right, we obviously got to get a giant ball down here. Okay, so this is the, the end. So, okay, so I guess we've got to get that ball across this <laughs> roller coaster <laughs> in order to, to get to the end. So, I'm assuming I can't run across these beams? Oh, I can, actually. I don't know if that's the way I'm, uh, I'm meant to, to do it. Let's let's go up to, to where the uh, the ball is and let's see like because normally you can just see like at what they give you Like what materials and stuff and that would be enough of a clue for what it is that you need to, to do So let's go and have a look at what we have to, to work with. Oh, not not a lot <laughs> by the looks of things So the first one seemed pretty simple. I guess I can just roll the ball down here I can't see a downside to that Yeah so these are the simple ones, but then I'm guessing it's going to gradually get more and more difficult. Oh, so is this is this too wide? Is that what it is? Let's just go and place the, the ball here just to, to make sure. I think the ball is just going to slip through the middle. It is. So I don't think I can attach these to the railings, but I could attach it to the ball. So if I put one like either side of the, the ball, kind of poking out like that, Okay, maybe not quite like that, but you get the idea. <laughs> then it will be able to, to like, stop it from falling through the, the middle. There we go. Okay, so one of them on either side. I think that looks about equal. Hopefully these will be strong enough to, to hold it in place. I think they should be. Okay, so there's that one going down. But now the next one, there's only one railing. But then also, what do we have over here? We have a chest there. That am, I, am I meant to roll the ball along in order? So I just need to get to that ladder. Can I not? I established I could just walk along these. Could I not just walk along this and then jump to the, the ladder? Or, or would I end up slipping off? Ooh, I think it might be possible. But it would be quite tricky. It's worth giving it a go though. Like anytime you think you could cheat one of the shrines, it's always worth doing it just because it's fun. <laughs> ah, it might be too difficult. I wonder if I like ran... And tried to like jump off it if it'd be worth it. Or better not have put the ball back. Okay, no, good. The ball is uh the ball's still there. Let me let me try and like maybe I was trying to be too fast. Uh too slow, sorry. Okay, no, I think they've um <laughs> they they've made it especially slippy, so that's uh not an option. Right, let's see if we can get the uh the chest first then before we go and uh and bring it down. So the but to be fair, the ball I could kind of just place it in that middle bit there, right? And it should stay like that. You know what, if I kind of tilt, turn the ball around like that, and then put a platform on top of like that pole. Oh, these are like, these are like doors? Okay, this is obviously going to be <laughs> what's needed for the next puzzle. But I think if I just put this on there, and maybe even two of them, then I should just be able to jump across. I just don't want it to break the, uh, the stick off. And then also, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. But what I could do is do it round and then maybe even use recall just to have it there for long enough for me to jump across. Oh no, it fell off. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> uh, you know what, I might, you know what, I might, I might not even need the ball. I might, if I think about this, I might just be able to hang these over the, uh, over this and they should stay in place and they might be just wide enough for me just to, to run across them. Okay, if I jump on that, is that going to stay? Ah, okay. I think I'm obviously meant to do something with that ball. But I think I can uh, kind of just cheat it and put some of these along and be able to grab the chest. But of course, I've still not solved the actual final main problem of the, uh, the shrine itself. Oh, no! Oh, wait. Could, could I recall them? Can, can I recall that? Oh, I can't, I can't look down enough. Yeah, are they going to reappear? Okay, they did just reappear back uh, back where they were. Okay, that, that could have been bad. I'm going to put this one maybe there. And then I can jump to that. And then... No, no! Oh, I missed the ladder. i tell you what. I don't, know if, I don't know if I got off enough health to survive another fall. Okay, that was, that was uh, fine, but just like bad execution <laughs> with, my, uh, with my final jump. I mean, I'm not doing this the, uh, the easiest way, I don't think. Right, let's jump. And then jump. 
Now let's make sure I line this up properly. There we go. Okay. It's for some reason solving the puzzles in the way they were obviously not meant to be solved. Just always makes them more satisfying. And really? Like I got that's like a rubbish bow. That's like the same as what like all of the bows that I've been getting this whole time are. That is a rubbish prize to be uh <laughs> to be getting for us solving that. If I knew that's what I was gonna get, I would not have even bothered. So right, if I put this I think I might just need one of these on there. But like I need to I might need to put this on first and make sure it stays. Then if I attach the ball like underneath it. Can I can I recall that from all the way here? Why oh, cow you can use recall from a uh, from really far away actually. So then now if I grab that, I can just attach this to the underneath. And then, oh no, because it pulled it off. Oh no, don't put that ball. It's not gonna put the ball back to the beginning, is it? Okay, no, I got for that. Okay, so I guess I just need to to be a little bit quicker attaching the uh, the the ball to it. But I think that should work. I don't know why they're giving me so many materials. Right, should only be really quick and attach. Okay, <laughs> okay, I just about was able to to get that on there. Oh, there we go. It's gone down to the the bottom. I mean, that's short. Is that the way I was meant to do that? There was just they gave they gave me so many panels and things to play with there, and all I needed was that that one thing. So may, maybe I did do it in a slightly simpler way, but it worked fine. I just had to be uh quite quick uh, getting the uh, the the ball stuck on. And then as I said, that's gonna be um that's gonna be enough for me to to go and get a a full upgrade. So I am wondering whether I should go back to that like camp or whether I should keep going forward to the Rito village because there's probably gonna be a goddess statue there anyway, isn't there? So I did see that down here. There seems to be some of the uh, the gloom. So I know there are like elixirs and stuff I can use to survive the gloom. Oh wait, is this another entrance to the depths? Oh it is, it's another like big chasm all the way down there. Ah. I'm curious to check that out, but I did just mark that Korok seed, didn't I? And that's the sort of thing I'll end up forgetting. So let's go get that Korok seed first. Because I could, because like, there's a shrine right there. I can always go straight back there. But yeah, I want to go down to the depths because even if I get just the uh, the first light route, that means that I'll be able to teleport to it later on, which means there's much less chance I'll end up kind of forgetting about it. And I'm also curious to see like how varied like the uh, the depths are. Like, because I, I went to the first place and obviously I saw what it was like. And I'm curious whether um like different areas will make it look different. So I want to see like is... Is this this one I'm going to go to now? How different does it look to the other one? And that nearly <laughs> fell on my head. Right, so what side does this need to be on? So that goes across by four. That side goes across by two. So it's definitely going to have to be up here somewhere. Uh, I might just kind of spin it around until it kind of looks right. Would that need to go like there? Okay, there we go. I kind of didn't really work it out. I just kind of kept... <laughs> spinning it and pushing it back on until it kind of ended up working, but that did end up working. So there's another Korok seed. So how many Korok seeds do I still have? So I've still got 50. I was so annoying that Hetsu went. And the fact that he went off to the east as well, and I'm travelling to the west, is just outrageous. Where do you get a giant maraca-wielding forest creature when you need one, eh? <laughs> right, let's let's go down to these uh, these little depths down here then. And uh, let's go and uh, check them out. I also want to try and get some more of... What are they called again? Uh, let me look up the thing. Uh, yeah, so I want to get some more pose. Because if I get a hundred of these, I get a, a really cool outfit uh, that will allow me to to, to kind of get not hurt by the, the gloom so much. Because uh, the gloom, if I go into it, it like completely takes away one of my hearts that won't replenish. I don't know how you would ever replenish it either. Uh, maybe you just have to like rest or something. So, oh, I got like a proper wingsuit. I didn't even notice that before. That I get like a proper wingsuit when I when I skydive. That is awesome. This place, however, is kind of terrifying. Oh, there's definitely a bunch of those poses around the place, and there's one of the um the the light routes right there as well, which is a uh, rather handy. And oh, is that is that is that Robbie's down here? Oh, does that start? Did that statue just move? Or am I, I might be imagining things. I think I'm just getting scared. Oh, it's not Robbie. Is this Joshua? Oh, no, it's just a random researcher. 
I used up all the blight bloom seeds I brought with me. If you have any extra, would you mind sharing? Uh, here you go. Don't take too many, though, because <laughs> I didn't want some for myself. Phew, you really saved me. It's so dark around here, you can't see a thing without a little glow. So don't waste your bright bloom seeds like I did. Oh, and putting a seed on the ground to hit it is all right. But ex uh, expert explorers attach them to arrows and fire them. Do that. And look, I can see your face in the dark. Clear as day. The face of our sworn enemy, Link, that is. Oh, wait, what? I'll have your life. No, is this a Yiga clan person? It is. Oh, I did not see that plot twist coming. I really just thought I was helping them out then. Oh, they got a lot of health because this does a lot of damage. I know that looks like I took them out really easy, but my weapon did a, a bunch of damage. I did not see that twist coming. <laughs> I thought I was helping out a, a poor researcher, but no. I was getting attacked by the Yiga clan again. Oh, everyone's glad they've made a return, I'm sure. I mean, they are quite cool, to be fair. Uh, right, you know, there's no point putting a seed down here. Because this root is going to light up the uh, the whole area anyway. And then, yeah, I'm just going to have a little look around. I'm not going to, like, spend too long down here. Um, just because I've spent, like, quite a lot of time in the, the depths already recently. But, yeah, I just want to see how, like, varied the, the depths are. It does look, at the moment... Very similar, yeah. It's not like uh, that crazy. Like it's cool, but like I can't help comparing it to uh, another game that kind of came out um, last year called Elden Ring, which has like a big underground area, like similar to this, where you go underground. You're like, well, there's a big underground here, but it's like full of like a giant city and all of these like unique areas and bosses and stuff. And like this almost just feels like a watered down version of that mixed with the the never unless there is something yet for me to explore like i'm glad it's here i'm glad that it is here and it is something different but unless there is like a big twist i can't like imagine me spending load like i can imagine me wanting to come down here because i need to get like zonite or something like rather than me being like oh let's carry on exploring down there like let's see what we can find because uh unless as i said there is you know, a lot less for me to, uh, left for me to discover that I don't know about. Like, there doesn't seem to be all of, like, the cool, amazing discoveries that we've been making on the surface and, like, all of the, the shrines and stuff. Then again, I have just found a, a thing here. Let me, um, let me, uh, throw down a, a light bloom seed just so I can actually see what this, uh, this is. Ah, so there's a bunch of, oh, these are wheels. And then there's a glider here as well. And there's loads of these posts. I thought it was going to be, like, a really big deal when they said about me collecting a uh, hundred. But you know what? I almost have a hundred already. So oh, is this gonna be is this gonna be the 100? 97? 98? 99? Really? 99? That is painful. I need one more. Right. Let me get one more Poe. And then what I think we'll do for the uh, the end of the episode is I'll go to um I go back to my little camp. And I can use the goddess statue to upgrade that. And then I can also by the, uh, like the, I can't remember what it's called, it's like the dark outfit or, or something, because it looked amazing, and then also it will help me for all of my future endeavours down in the, uh, the depths. I can't believe it brought me to 99. I mean, of course it did. Of course it brought me to, to 99. It would have been so satisfying if it was exactly 100, though, considering that was what I needed. And oh, I've got to be careful of these enemies. I know they only look like the, the normal skeleton enemies, but... They, uh, they are more deadly because if they hit me, it's the gloom and I don't get it back. So let's uh, let's see if I can uh, teleport out of here. Right, let's go to the map. And then it's down here we need to go to. Lookout Landing, that was it. Let's, uh, let's get out of here while we can. Right, so I think the statue was just in here, I believe. So uh, let's offer in uh, offer this, and there with the dark shooter. Oh no, it's 150! Oh, that's sad. I I thought it was a. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was 100. Okay, my bad. But it does look like getting 150 ain't gonna be a big deal. Like I haven't even been like going out of my way to get pose, and I got like 100 like that quick. It is a uh, not a big deal whatsoever. So let's at least do the uh, the other thing that I wanted to to do, uh, and let's go to this uh, this goddess statue, and then we can use a um, yeah. I'm gonna do a stamina vessel. I think from now on, I'll, I'll basically like go back and forth between like stamina and hearts. Like I always prefer to do stamina just because it feels nicer. But if you neglect giving yourself heart containers, then you are gonna have a tough time uh, later on uh, in the the game. So I will just try and basically alternate back and forth between the two. So then like I'm not lacking in like any individual area uh, down the, the line. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is gonna be the end of this episode here. So in the next episode, 
uh, yeah, I won't worry about the the depths for for now. I'm going to carry on heading in the direction that I was uh, going towards the uh, the Rito village. Of course, stopping out off probably many times on uh, on my way. Uh, but that is like kind of like the the main quest area that I need to to go and uh, and head in. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. You went up very soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.